What up, YouTube? Topaz Jay saying I got a pretty good show lined up for you today, man. First, we're going to jump to a brief instrumental from underground producer C Fab. Then, we're going to review this new Two Chains joint, man. Then, we're going to take some questions. So this joint by 2 Chainz, man, No Off Days, produced by Zaytoven, which you really didn't even need to see his name in the artwork to know that this was produced by Zaytoven, because it's the same exact type of beat that he's dropped throughout his entire career. And to put on top of that, 2 Chainz lyrics that have been lacking of substance and quality for quite some damn time now, you already know that this song isn't that damn good. But yet, I got mad respect for this man for doing this, man, because he dropped this track on his 38th birthday, and it's a song saying no off days and shit so pretty much he's talking about how he's grinding every fucking day no matter what no matter if this is birthday celebration whatever the fuck and you know what that type of work ethic is what's keeping him around you dig because his best days are already behind him and shit most people like two chains and such musically would have been just disappeared out of fucking nowhere but this type of work ethic on top of the fact that he's already had a bidding war for him. On top of the fact that he's already made a bunch of money off of cell phones and shit, man. Like, this dude, he will find his own success just based off of this hard work. It probably won't be as an artist and being in front of the fucking camera, man. But his label and all of this shit, if he keeps grinding like this, he'll continue to be a part of the game. And here's the thing. A lot of dudes who ain't really got shit don't even work this fucking hard, which is fucking sad. And he also shows you that there's no real age limit to this game. He's 38 still doing shit. One track that I definitely recommend to skip past, but learn from that shit, man. But anyway, on to ask, down low path. And little Quincy says that I was right, man, about the whole needing like 10 plus years in order to get into the game and such, man. And thank you, my G. I appreciate the few people that actually fucking listen to me when I try to tell them this shit. And Isaiah asks, man, what albums have been coming out that make you question if they should have even been in the fucking industry? Quite honestly, a lot of albums drop like that. So many so that I really can't fucking list them like that dude to go on top of a bunch of the double xl freshman class members who continuously got some promotion and shit from the game bunch of them dudes from year to year to year always make me question okay why the fuck is this person even relevant in the game? But you gotta understand, man, the game ain't about quality music, man. It's about promotion and who these people decide to put their money behind. So, it's ultimately, it's difficult to tell anybody that they don't deserve to be in the game. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article. 